What's up guys? Welcome to another video. We're gonna be doing a little something different outside today. We're gonna to be reviewing the out in Nano Portable Electric Espresso Machine. And then we're gonna be making some espresso out here on my patio. We're nowhere in like wild, out in the middle of nowhere in nature, but I think out back is a perfect spot to try to demonstrate having espresso anywhere and maybe we'll take it further who knows so first off i want to thank out in for providing this to the channel to review uh they have not edited this and this is my own personal um observations and opinions and on honest review so let's go ahead and unbox this and if you're not familiar with out in i believe they're based out of denver so of course, you know, being out of Colorado and the mountains and stuff, you can see here that it's definitely a outdoor adventure kind of thing here. They're basically saying you can have a barista style espresso anywhere, right? Have an out in day, get it out in. So you're out, but you're glamping basically, right? So for all you glampers out there that like want to be on a hike and have your espresso that's like barista quality, this is for you. So it says, be the next one out in Nano, and they want you to share your experience, uh, step towards uh, Kaiser Mountain without in, and uh, go from there, right? So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. And again, very uh, outdoorsy experience. So we've got a little guide, got a little instruction manual, got another little, quick start got some stickers and then this is what I would expect from a company out of Colorado I'm just saying definitely top-notch definitely kind of adventurous so in this you get a USB cable this is a C to C and we get a little scoop oh. and then we get a little capsule adapter we get a cup and then we get the star of the show our espresso maker this one is in black and I believe that is all she wrote but a very very cool uh, unboxing experience and if you look down here like this even the box looks like mountains and stuff in it. so pretty fabulous experience especially if you like mother nature and the mountains and good things like that so here's our device here's everything we got all right we're going to cover all this now just some quick information on this guy it's very lightweight 700 grams not very heavy at all okay so that makes it very very portable put it in your backpack uh, go on a hike whatever it's also very quick to heat up 200 seconds to heat it up um, and that's from cold water right so that that's not bad hot water would probably be a little bit quicker uh, also it'll heat up to 198 degrees Fahrenheit and it creates some rich crema uh, crema sorry um, on your espresso because it's got a 20 bar pump 20 bar pressure pump that's pretty fabulous in this little device right that's like espresso machine on your countertop kind of pressure pump so I'm anxious to see uh, what kind of crema we get on this bad boy all right uh, it has a built-in 7500 milliamp uh, battery which means you can basically use this five times with cold water and they say up to 200 times uh, if you're brewing with hot water so keep that in mind and then to heat uh, to charge this up it's a 12 volt or 24 volt uh, car charger or plug or USB uh, type C and it needs to be a 10 watt or greater charger. So 10 watt or greater if you're gonna do USB-C. So you can do this with two in one coffee methods. You can just ground coffee. So you'd have to have something that would get you an espresso grind. Don't be using like a hand grinder that doesn't do espresso level. Um, this isn't a uh, automatic drip coffee maker or anything like this. The goal is to have some espresso. So you want the espresso grind 
or you can use capsules. And when I say capsules, it, it's mainly referring to the Nespresso machine. You can buy those little capsules. Uh, they're pack, packaged super tight, uh, already pounded down, so they're you know, ready to go, right? Uh, if you find something that's compatible to an espresso, you can use it. Put it in this little uh, capsule adapter here, and that way you don't even have to worry about grounding your coffee or uh, you know, messing with uh, grounds. Maybe it's windy and you don't want it to blow all around. So a capsule comes in very handy. Um, again, it's convenient, it's travel size, uh, and shape makes this a portable uh, solution that you can basically take it anywhere with you, right? So that's the whole point of it. And again, it's IPX4 waterproof and easy to clean. And we'll get into all that there. So you shouldn't have any problems taking it out uh, into the wild, uh, IPX4 waterproof. So that's pretty good. Uh, shouldn't have to worry about anything. If we look at the, uh, we're just being thoughtful. So how many cups can you get? Um, <clears throat> you know, basically if you want to pause the video and just read this, right? And I'll put it a little bit closer. There you go. Um, that's everything you really need to know right here. So we're gonna use this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video. We're gonna come back and we're going to make some espresso and see how this bad boy works out. Again, there's not a lot to it, right? This almost looks like a water thermos, right? Just a water bottle. But really, it's not. It's gonna be our espresso machine. So let's pause the video and let's get this thing percolating. All right, guys, welcome back. So we've got the out-in Nano here. So let's go ahead. It came three-fourths charged out of the box. So let's go ahead and we're gonna take some water and we'll pour it in this cup. And this is just regular filtered water. So, and of course we've got a bee flying around, so that's great. And just to show you, let's go ahead and check the temperature of this colder water. And it's already gone down to like 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Now it's at 59. So around 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the bottom off. And we're going to pour the water in the base. And we're going to push it in. Okay. Now, let's water the plants. So what we're going to do is I have actually already taken the loose ground filter here and filled it with espresso ground coffee, about one and a half to two of these. And then this is your tamper. This fits right in here and you tamp it down, right? So be sure you tamp your espresso grounds down. So we're going to put this back on. Like so. We're making sure that, again, that's upside down. So the water, the pressure is going to come through there. All right. All right. Tighten it real tight. Okay. You're going to have pressure here. So you want to keep it tight. So what we're going to do is just put it down here. And we're going to turn it on for two seconds. Ready? And we heard a beep. So now what we're going to do is we're going to let it brew and right now it's heating the water and i'm starting a timer and we'll see how long this takes so i'm going to pause the video and give you an exact count on my off my apple watch when this thing is finally done and we'll go from there so i'm gonna pause this video we're going to come right back. All right, we're two and a half minutes in, and I am on the third bar here. So I'm guessing in about three minutes, maybe, we'll start to brew. We'll be right back. All right, we just hit the four-minute mark, and we are waiting for our fourth bar, or our fourth node, to light up. I can hear it. Got a little boil sound going on. And as soon as we get there, these last uh, two, you would think maybe went a little faster, but uh, they do not. 
it's about the same um, per level here, right? It's it's taken about one and a half to two minutes per level. So I'm gonna guess at about the five minute mark here, it will start brewing. There we go, we're brewing. Oh yeah, look at that. It's a nice looking espresso. Getting that crema on top now. Look at that. Mm. And she's done. All right. Let's test the temperature. I'll tell you, it smells amazing. It smells. Let's see. We've got 100 and that's coming out at about 148 degrees. It smells great. Let's look at that crema. Oh, that looks like a nice cup of espresso. Very, very nice cup. So about five minutes. That's all it took. Let's go ahead and taste it. All right, so I gotta say, that's some really good quality espresso. From a, from a hand espresso maker that's portable that I just brewed out on my patio. Mm. All right, that's better than a capsule. I can tell you that. I'm, I'm not a huge fan. I'm kind of a, a coffee snob, so I'm not a huge fan of Keurigs and, and really even the Nespresso capsules, to me, they just taste old. Um, and, and you know, you know, you don't know the shelf life. Yeah, they vacuum seal them and yeah, they, they grind them and pack them tight. But to me, it's the fresh ground. This is, this is what it is right here. This tastes amazing. Mm. Mm-hmm. Very, very good. So I gotta say, I'm very impressed. I've tried other portable coffee makers, portable espresso machines, nothing that heats on its own. This is probably the only one that I know of, and, and you can put in the comments um, if you know of one that actually heats. Now, if you want the two method, you can just put hot water in this. Say you've got a way to make hot water or you brought hot water along. Uh, you can put hot water in here and just hold it for five seconds and completely skip the heating up process, which saves a lot of battery life, right? So you can definitely do that. Mm. That's tasty. That is really, really good. So again, that was from cold. You saw it about 60 degrees up to about 148, 49 degrees and good enough to drink. It's not super hot. Some very, very good espresso. Now I have to find a great little frothing solution and I could make some really good coffee drinks out in the wild if I had some way to froth and add some milk. Mm. So anyway, guys, that is the out in Nano. Very, very kick butt machine if you're wondering this is where the water goes a little bit left but not much and what's nice here is it has a little measurements in here so you can see 70 milliliters 50 milliliters and it has a max line so it's got a little measuring in there as well so you can definitely put that in there and cleanup wise right so we're just going to unscrew this and then this is our capsule a little water in here so let's dump it out and to clean it basically you know we're just going to take this guy 
And that is our grounds. We're just gonna dump it and clean it out. That's as easy, easy as it gets. Here's our filter, right? So this is where we got our filter water, pressure through, worked great. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Check the show notes, I'll have a link for this. You gotta check it out. You're gonna like it. Coffee lovers rejoice. As always, guys, thanks for watching and have a good one. Thank you.